the other option is actually to integrate with respect to y. Wow, that sounds crazy. Basically, what this means is you're going to take your problem and you're going to look at it sideways. That was fun. Yeah, you're going to turn it sideways. And you do this when your curve is bounded more clearly by the um, on left and right versus up and down. So if we look at these curves here, this should show you what it means. If I were to look at top and bottom curve, well, pick out x value. So I pick this x value here. So look what bounding top and bottom here. Same curve. That is not good. We don't want to go there. You need two different curves to bound top and bottom. If I look in the middle, I don't even have a curve. I have a horizontal line top and bottom. Well, that's something we can actually deal with. You can talk about that in calculus too. And then over here, we have the curve on top and the horizontal line on the bottom. You see how many different scenarios there is? That's why top and bottom is not a good option, which is what we did with respect to x. So with respect to y, says, well, look left and right. Who bounds your curve left and right? Well, no matter which y value I draw a line through, it's always the blue curve bounding the left, the yellow curve bounding the right. That's why the uh, left and right bounds are much better to look at. To do this, you're going to have to write your, your function as a function of y. So notice that they turned this around. Instead of having y equals f of x, they switched it to x equals f of y. Um, same thing for the other two. If you look top and bottom, it's really messy. It changes all throughout. Who's on top and who's on bottom. So top and bottom just doesn't work out well. So that's why it's much better to look left and right. Left and right. Always the same curve on the left, always the same curve on the right. No matter which y value you draw on it. So how do we do this? If a region's bounding curves are described by functions of y, the approximating rectangles are horizontal instead of vertical, and the basic formula has y in place of x. So the rectangle just talking about is the Riemann rectangle. I'm not going to go back to that. I'm just saying look left and right. Is it bounded by curves left and right, or is it bounded up and down? That's going to be your determining factor who you integrate with respect to. So here's your formula. Uh, be careful. Uh, this is not top and bottom. This is now going to be, uh, which one is it? F is always the right hand curve and D is the left. So this is right minus the left. Remember, um, if you turn your picture, the right would be the bigger values than the left. So look at the x axis. Further to the right you are, the bigger the x values are. So that's actually the top x values. Or just do left and right. All right. Do an example. I am providing you the pictures. I would anticipate the pictures to be provided because otherwise we're testing you on too much. So I would provide you the pictures if this problem was here on your test. Um, if it wasn't provided a picture, it should be something simple like a straight line. Use your test review to see what might occur. All right, find the area of the region in the previous example by integrating with respect to y. So, um, I don't know why it's so crazy. But, all right, so we're going to integrate with respect to y. Why are we integrating with respect to y? Well, if you draw a line at any particular y value, so a horizontal line, it's always bounded on the left by the blue and on the right by the yellow. Notice they've already written the function as function x equals a function of y. So this is um, g of y. So the area is going to be the integral of the right function minus the left curve, right curve, right left curve. But because we're doing left and right, it's going to be dy. All right, limits of integration. We need the furthest to the left, or sorry, the y values. So when we do y values, we need to look at y axis. So how far down on the y axis do we go? Well, this would be the lowest y value. And then how far up on the y value do we go? This would be your highest y value. So those would be your limits of integration. From zero to how low and how high for the shaded region. All right, so we're integrating from zero to two. Our right function is the yellow, y plus two, minus the left, the blue, y squared. What? Well, we did just do this problem. So equals the integral. So if I put it in order, so negative 
negative y squared plus y plus 2 is 0 to 2. You will not get... Two problem, and I accidentally didn't bother to check that 
we can solve it. So we are actually missing the tool because we skipped a section when it came to anti-privilege, inverse trig functions. That we may have those too. So it was useful because I was able to show you top and bottom, but we actually can't integrate this with the techniques we have. So if you have those two, you might have to see this problem in order to okay, once you finish the first unit of help to go back and try this problem. Um, but the setup is correct and the limits of integration is good. It's just you can't actually finish it because we don't have enough.